Uh, that's the last I saw on my drone. It went up and then it crashed. <laughs> and then I went to look for it. Well, I didn't know it crashed. I thought it just lost signal. And then I went to look for it and this gentleman told me, he said, I seen it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm super pissed about the drone, but I don't have time. I have to, I have 15 minutes to somehow get to the start line-ish, where the finish line is, and go watch this race. What's kind of cool is, I just don't let silly things like a drone upset me anymore. Like. Who gives a shit? Like, it's just a drone. But I am more annoyed that <laughs> yesterday's session was, yeah, it was fun. Like, there was probably good advice in there. And yeah, now it's all gone. But um, yeah, don't dwell on things. I guess, like, that's probably what I'd, I'd say in this situation. I could be all pissed off. I could be all in a bad mood. That's not what, like, the people in my life need today. That's certainly not what Katie needs, you know, the group that's all here competing. They need like positivity and happiness. So look, there's a little, little bit of a lesson there. Believe me, I was starting to get a little bit pissed off because it's like, you wanna find your drone. This guy's told me I seen a crash into the water. You go to the water, you're not dressed for the water. <laughs> and and the, the waves are, of course, of all the days that my drone goes down, the tide is completely in, and these waves are throwing me up against the wall. But look, it's all good fun. Don't take things too seriously. It's a bloody drone. You can replace it. If I was lucky, a bloody company would send me a free one one day. But look, you just have to get on with it. Um, anything that's money or physical, it can be replaced. So don't ever let those things bother you. I, please don't, because you can just replace it. But you can't, you can't replace a day in Hawaii when Katie's racing and you were a strop all day because of a bloody drone. So, you know, be positive, especially for the people around you as well. But here we go. Okay, we found a new mode of transport, so we might not be late. It's not far from here. We're getting close. I just dropped my camera, but luckily it still works, or that would be very upsetting. You're welcome. All right, we made it. We got pretty close. It's starting in about, probably in about five minutes, maybe like 10 minutes, but the start line's just down there. All right, I'm having a disaster. Couldn't park the scooter. There's all these zones and it's probably just cost me about $40 to go on a little scooter for like 400 meters. <laughs> what a day, this is, a, this is great. <laughs>
And the winner with a time of 3.56, Neil Gorley. First place finisher, 2022. Our winner, Neil Gorley. Welcome to Hawaii, Aloha. How do you like it, Abby? Yeah, thanks for having me. It's absolutely beautiful. I could be a home in Glasgow in Scotland right now. It's the same weather, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, at what point did you make your move here? Let me ask one question. When did you pass the winner? Yes, uh, just after 200 to go, I think. You really have to ask them, I don't remember. I was worried about these guys coming back as well. So it was an all-out kit? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was kind of everything I had today. Absolutely. All right, well, congratulations. Hope they have you back next year. Good luck for representing your country. And in international competitions, World Championships, Olympics, and thank you so much, guys, and everybody, all the leaders for the today's Kalakaua Mary Mile. Next year, those ladies right back are here. Get, hey guys, those ladies are gonna get you next year. Hey guys, stand here. Right. I know it's tough for the women because normally you are the top three, but the way we do this is a little different. So Steven, what's it like to coach the winner? <laughs> Every weekend now. <laughs> when, did, when did the men pass you? Alright, so the race is over, now we're walking back to the hotel, and then yeah, today Katie's going to give you the tip of the day, but when she's ready, we'll get that set up. Katie's eating her post race recovery snack, probably not well. within 20 minutes, mm -hmm. but close enough. One. 15 grams of protein. All right, so that was the Hawaii mile, which is amazing. Basically, how it works is the women go first, and I think there was a 30 second lead, and then the men chase them down, and it's you know it's all a bit of fun. You run 800 meters out, come around a cone, and then come back. And so somebody asked on the video yesterday, you know, not being rude, but who's Katie? Katie is a British Olympic athlete, went to Tokyo. Her name's Katie Snowden. She's a, probably an 8, 1500 meter runner, sub two minutes, 402 for the 1500. And so while she was the first female today, because the men had passed them, yeah, then you don't win the race. But you know, super, super um, disciplined athlete, loves running. I said all this on the GoPro this morning, but then of course I sunk the drone. Um, but basically, I, I can ask Katie every day, is running still your you know, favorite thing in the world? And basically every day it is. So just loves running, super passionate about it, very, very talented, um, but also like, Talent is probably like an 8 out of 10 and, and how hard she works is probably like a 15 out of 10. And so Katie's learned to stay healthy and, and it can be frustrating because perhaps you can't train as much as maybe you know or you've heard that other athletes train, but it's working within the margins of what you can handle to be as good as you possibly can and not getting too caught up or distracted by perhaps what somebody else can handle. And so Katie's gonna give you her tip of the day I'm gonna stop recording and go back inside and I'm just gonna let her do whatever she wants her tip for today to be. Okay, so my tip of the day is leading up to a race, don't worry too much about how you're feeling. Um, Cause yeah, this week I haven't felt that good. Um, yeah, the legs felt pretty tired and heavy um, and I normally go off resting heart rate. I always check it every morning um, and this week especially it's been pretty high. Um, but yeah, I know I put in a good training block in Flagstaff, so um, yeah, I just trusted in that. And yeah, thankfully today went really well. Um, yeah, I was top of the girls. Um, sadly, a few guys caught me leading up to the finish. Um, so yeah, they took the top three, but um, yeah, happy to come off top girl. 
What would your rest and heart rate normally be? Um, so at sea level, it's normally like 40, um, whereas yeah, at the moment it's been like more like 50. So um, like 10 beats high? Yeah, so at least 10 beats. And normally, especially when I drop down from altitude, it's pretty low, whereas yeah, that hasn't been the case this week when I've dropped down. Awesome, well done. Thanks.